Dokies, Andy Lippy here, back with another tutorial in OBS. I'm kind of doing this one for myself because I literally came across so many issues when recording my own stream as well as streaming to Twitch because I wanted to do it in the highest quality possible, but it kept getting corrupt. But here's how I fixed it. Before we get into the video, press that like button if, it do, if you do find it useful. If you don't, press the dislike and also subscribe. It'll help the channel an absolute ton. When we get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be releasing some original music that you'll be able to stream on Spotify, Apple Music, all that jazz. But let's just get into it. So we are going to be looking at my recording settings inside of OBS, this is what I find the most useful and it stopped all the corruption and everything like that. I want to say a bit of a disclaimer first is make sure you try and get an external hard drive, that way it will just kind of take a lot of that processing and everything like that and throw it onto your external hard drive rather than using the internal hard drive. Especially if you're using a lot of different scenes, different transitions and things like that, you don't want to kind of clog it up, do you know what I mean? So we're going to go to file and go to settings and once we're in settings we're going to see many different options. A really handy tip for everybody is press, if you wanted to record every stream, press automatically record when streaming because I always forget to press recording. The amount of challenges I've done on Apex, stuff like that, and I literally have never, <laughs> never pressed record sometimes and I end up in a right mess. So I want to go to output. I've got mine set to advanced because I like to change the bitrate and everything like that. All these settings you can change whatever suits your hardware. So it will take a little bit of tinkering, just play about with it. I've got mine set up to super fast on the, the CPU usage, so the higher it is, the less CPU it uses because I've got a lot of different transitions and obviously all my little camera movements going on there. So then we want to go to recording. And then we've got choices just here, which I'm not going to be able to change um, as I'm currently recording in OBS, but you want to keep it on standard, do your recording path, do an external hard drive, okay? And you want to change your recording format into something like MKV. If you do that, that is literally probably the, one of the best, best formats to use. I know before you put it into some sort of editing software like I do, I have to convert it to MP4. I know this can do MP4. But trust me, you don't want that to, to do MP4 because the amount of times I've had data corrupt and you cannot get it back. There's literally no way to get it back. So definitely use something like MKV. I've actually set mine to Audio Track 2 as well. And I'm going to do another tutorial on this because it is so useful. It means that I can stream with music playing, but then on my recording, there's no music there. So you don't have to worry about YouTube copyright or anything like that, or if the music's too loud, you don't have to worry about any sound settings, it'll just record me and also the, the game sound. Okay, if you do want to see that, leave a like on the video. And that's pretty much all your settings there. It'll use the same as the streaming settings. You can change them. Like I say, it depends on your internet connection, what you're currently streaming at, and also what your hardware is capable of. But that is all the, the settings that you need to change, really, to be honest. There's, there's nothing else to worry about. Try that. And now, every time you press start streaming, it'll press start recording. And then you could start playing about with replay buffers and stuff like that. If you want to see that, please let me know in the comments below, okay? Yeah, that is one of my favorite tools. When you get them absolute play of the game moments and you just want to replay it, yes, 20 second replay, instant on stream there and then, okay? So if you want to know that, Please let me now know down in the comments below. If there's anything else you want me to cover on this channel, please let me know as well. Alright guys, so like the video and subscribe. Put your rock by the stone. Catch you in the next one.